Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video we're going to be continuing with keyboard input and we're going to be making a button on the keyboard act like a teleport button. So the way I have it set up, whenever I press the letter T on the keyboard, I teleport to the green pad you see in the background. Let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to click the T key. And you see that I teleport to this green pad. If I run away from this pad and I press the letter T again, then I teleport back. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out how we can do this and dive in. Okay, so to set this up, we're going to be adding a local script into the starter character scripts. And you can find this first under the starter player. And then under the starter player, you're going to be adding it to the starter character scripts. And we're going to be adding a local script. So once you do that, let's go and take a look at the script. The first thing we're going to do is create a variable to store the user input service. Next, we're going to be creating a function. I call this function teleport and it uses the parameter input. So basically this parameter is going to store whatever input the user gives it. Next we're checking to see if that input is a key press and we're checking to see if that key press is the letter T. So if you want to modify this for a different key you would just change the letter T to whatever key you want to do. Next we're defining the player which comes from game.players.localplayer and the reason we do this, we don't want to teleport everybody in the game. We're just going to teleport the player that presses the key. Next, we're using that variable that we just defined. We're going to its character part, and then its humanoid root part. And after that, we're going to be changing its C-frame. And we're setting its C-frame to a new set of coordinates. And where I got these coordinates from was this part over here. So if you want, you can just place a part wherever you want to teleport to look down in the properties menu for the position go ahead and copy that and you want to paste it inside the parentheses here you can either keep that part or once you're done with the position you can always delete it if you don't want it to appear there then down at the bottom we're gonna say user input service which comes from this right up here we're gonna say dot input began and then we're gonna be connecting our function which is teleport and the teleport function will run the code that we put inside of it. Okay, and once that's all done, you have a button that teleports the player to a location. One thing that I forgot to mention, whenever you're pasting that position from your part, go ahead and change that middle position, the Y position, to somewhere around 5. That way you don't teleport inside the block. Okay, let's go ahead and run our code and take another look. Okay, so once you're in the game, you can now use the letter T to teleport to the location. So to conclude this video, we use the user input service to record the input from the user. Then in our function, we're checking to see if a certain key on the keyboard is pressed. And if that happens, then we change its C-frame to a new position, which in essence is teleporting the player to a new spot in the game. And finally at the bottom, we're just connecting that user input service to the function by adding this line down here. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.